This is Banjo and today I'm going over how to set up AI missile launch ranges in the mission editor for DCS World. Previous to the 1.5 update which was recently released for DCS World, the AI would routinely launch their missiles from R max rather than an effective range. As we're able to see in this next example, I have a player SE27 set head on for an AI F15 which is set on excellent and its only task is to eliminate me. In this next example I'm leaving the missile attack ranges as default which is launched by target threat estimate so the AI will judge for themselves based on threat priority. As we're able to see the AI fires from a significantly further range this time around giving me enough time to evade and defeat the missile climb and come around and reacquire the target. We'll set this example up one more time, but this time around we'll make the change to the launch ranges for the AI. So we're able to see the SU-27 is going up against the AI F-15 again. Though this time around, we're able to see that I've added an advanced waypoint action. And as we can see, the type, set option, action, air-to-air, -air, missile attack ranges. In here we have five settings, with the first being max range launch, where the AI will fire from our max, generally quite ineffective. And then we're able to see no escape launch zone. This is quite effective. This is what I used in the opening example. Then halfway between our max and no escape launch. We're also able to see at the bottom of the list random between max range and no escape launch, and the new default of launch by target threat estimate. In game, I'll use the split S again, which may or may not be the best way to defeat a slammer. But as we were able to see the first time, I was able to defeat the first one. But this time, set up on the no escape launch zone, I have significantly less time to react. And as we're able to see, the AI is generally significantly more effective, giving much less time to react to the missile. 